Hello and welcome to a long overdue GIMP tutorial. Uh, I'm very excited to announce that GIMP 2.8 has been released and also, even more exciting, that the binary packages have also been released. Um, but the GIMP.org website hasn't announced this officially yet, uh, so I hope I'm not stepping on anybody's toes by telling you how to get hold of it. Um, but basically, if you've already seen this information that GIMP's been released, you'll see that um, only at the moment the source code was available and there were no binary packages available. Um, so to get the binary packages, those are the ones that will act as an installer for the GIMP, uh, what you'll need to do is go to sourceforge.net. So I've already got sourceforge open here. Uh, so here we go, sourceforge.net up here. Um, basically, once you get to your um, sourceforge search bar, you can just type in the GIMP. And you'll see here it's the first thing that comes up. Um, and this is actually the one that we can download and this is the updated version. Uh, I'll just click through to show you that it's legit. Uh, so here you can see uh, download GIMP 2.8 setup.exe. Uh, this is the latest most stable release. It's an upgrade from the uh, 2.8 release candidate that came out a few months ago. Um, and once you install this you'll have GIMP 2.8 up and running on your Windows system. Um, so just to show you the end product of this and there is the lovely new GIMP 2.8 splash screen and with this new version of GIMP comes um, the long awaited single window mode um, which you can activate by going into windows and single window mode if you don't want it like that and then you can get back to the old standard version of the GIMP layout um, with this new version of GIMP, GIMP 2.8 I'm going to be redoing all of my old tutorials, uh, put together a new curriculum for it, and uh, I'll also be looking at some of the new things. Uh, just very quickly, some of the new things are like this cage transform tool. We've also got things like a new uh, brush dynamics um, set of options, and we can also do things like write canvas directly onto text. Um, sorry, write the text directly onto the canvas. And there was me thinking I'd do this video in one take. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this download, I hope you enjoy playing with the GIMP, and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Thank you.